Hello there. Hello. Hi, Dana here. Dana, otherwise known as Dana Spirit Butterfly. See some of you, Dana Park to others. Oh, it's so nice to be online again. I haven't been online for quite some time. Um, the energy of live streaming is a different experience to say reading in person. There's a lot more complication in the energy field when we read online and when we read in person, there's a lot more earth frequency. <laughs> I laugh, sorry, I laugh because the, the whole project that I'm doing with Rose is about reclaiming the earth, right? It's like um, my version of what a lot of sisters have as a storyline as to why it is that they do the work that they do. Of course, about work, we are going to talk a little bit about work in reference to leaky energy in a minute. But I want to acknowledge I'm on Bunjalong land, here are the Arakwal nation, pay my respects to the elders past, present and emerging, recognising that sovereignty was never ceded and that I am an Australian woman of Celtic and Dutch um, descent born on uh, Ghana lands, otherwise known as Adelaide, South Australia. And I pay also my respects to my ancestors who travelled so far, so distant to land in a place that they were not familiar with that they didn't have an awareness of what skill set they needed in order to land here and probably committed some um, inadvertent um, invasive actions in some places where maybe they shouldn't have, in ways that maybe they shouldn't have because they misunderstood what the land needed from them. And at the moment I am on um, um, a land the internet connection is not great, which is why my connectivity is a bit patchy these days. But um, the land here is really beautiful. It's really clear. It's really clean. Um, and in that clean environment, it actually makes it easier to perceive where energy leaks. When we talk about energy leaking, those of you who are familiar with stick figures in bubbles, I've been using this one for a while, so I've got I um, dropped my lunch on there at some point. But very crude example of human energy field, the way that we're designed, um, the expression that we are in human field and in individualized aspect to source code frequency, i.e. you, as you're expressing yourself uh, in space and time, you have a certain amount of integrity, you have a certain amount of energetic presence that is maintained by your system and that is reserved for you and we often use the term self-sovereignty or energy sovereignty when we talk about that, we're talking about taking responsibility for the energy that you express and noticing the dialogue within your own system. And when I land on noticing the, your own system, firstly, let me also just acknowledge Rose, Rose being the spirit ally that's been working with me this whole time to assist us with our circle work. Um, she who has never abandoned me, has never abandoned you. She is the quintessential feminine archetype of woman being beautiful, soft, luscious, juicy, also containing some masculine energy and an ability to say no and get away from me and otherwise known as thorns. Um, this duality, this, this dance, this experience of polarity, it is necessary for us to be in an awareness of what that is because it assists us with boundaries, it assists us with understanding feeling sense of I feel invaded right now I feel like there's someone here pushing their expression into my space without asking if I'm ready or ripe to receive that energy and when we're talking about leaky energy we land somewhere around there but I want to buy um direct my compass a little bit further into something else first and that is uh why we do sister work why we do sacred sister soul circle work or rose work in the first place calling it is a calling we use the term calling. I'm currently dialoguing a little bit more further with my own awareness of what I, where I want to land um, descriptively with what a calling is. But I, I like spirit is saying, go ahead. So I'll, I'll just go with what it is that Rose is saying. A calling really is a design feature that says that right now in this moment, I feel compelled. I feel like this is meeting a legacy a question a part of me that's been craving for something 
for so long, I feel like this thing is meeting me. That's when we're called to do something is because there is a magnetic attraction. There is a pull. There is a sense of, I don't quite know what this is, but I know that it's interesting to me and I know that I'm curious about it. And I know that I, out of all the things that I could be doing, this is the thing that keeps sticking out. And when we talk about calling, circle work is a calling, showing up to sister circle work is a calling with the sacred sister soul circle, Facebook group, the private group that this is also streaming to. Um, and if you're um, watching this from there, please say hi. Um, I'm not quite sure how that's going to work with um, the way that I've set this whole thing up. But anyway, please say hi. I would love to acknowledge you. You know, I love to acknowledge you. But um, if I'm not acknowledging you, please head to the Sacred Rose Awakening um, page, which is what I'm running this through, which is where I'm diverting some of my energy to, because at the moment I have some leaky energy. I'm dispersing my energetic expression into different spaces, and a lot of those spaces are extraneous to my needs at the moment. They are pushing energy into spaces where I probably shouldn't go. And when I say that, it's not that I'm being um, particularly penetrating. It's not that I'm being pushy. It's not that I'm being toxic, toxic, toxic in my masculinity as a woman. Um, it is that some of you, when you signed up to this Facebook group, you didn't really know why it is that you were called to this space. You know that you had an interest, you had an interest, you had a desire, you had something that called you to this space. And a lot of the 500 odd people in this group, I have never uh, connected with. They've never commented on any of my videos. There's been no interaction whatsoever. And this is maybe a Facebook group design. Facebook group designs are out of my own personal hands because unfortunately or fortunately we are we need to lean into the structures that are here, systems. And so as I work into this group and into this space, I'm offering energy. I'm offering intelligence. I'm directing my focus, my time, my energy into this space because I, we created it. It wasn't just me who created it. I was actually asked to create it from a sister who was a fan of my work and needed more of you to be across it because we all want our sisters to be across more of the technology so that we can have better relationships so that we can navigate this time space continuum with greater ease in support of each other. <laughs> but support is an interesting thing because support can only be given if you're open to it. You can only receive it if it, it matches you, if it meets you, if you're taking the time to listen, which is where I want to kind of drive, drive us drive us back to leaky energy, what leaky energy is. So leaky energy is basically where I am directing attention and focus into things that aren't necessarily giving back to me. They're not necessarily meeting me. And so... A quintessential example of leaky energy would be I'm interested in man or interested in a woman, whatever it is that is your flow. I'm interested in this person for friendship or for, for whatever. I'm really interested. I'm driving energy towards this friendship. I want it. I really want it badly. I like this person. I'm attracted to them for whatever reason. And I want to engage in this process of cultivating a, a strong connection. But, you know, I noticed that I'm the one driving all the energy. I'm the one directing all the focus. I'm the one inspiring the connection. I'm the one that seems to be desiring it more than the other because they're not reaching out. They're not doing the work. And the only time I see them is at this um, weekly gathering, right? It's the only space that they let me interact with them. Why are you dedicating so much energy thinking about these people? Why are you spending so much of your energy desiring a contact with a person who clearly isn't meeting you? The answer is, is that we are conditioned or programmed to bypass our own energetic expression and to disregard what it is we actually need to pursue something that appears to be more glamorous, appears to be a little bit more something, more something beyond what it is that I'm actually available for. And we do this because our society has actually harnessed a lot of the energetic expression of what it is that's available to us to for us to crave more and the modern movie is a very good example of this why movies were created um, advertising is a really good example i don't know um in fact spirits asked me to share this with you and i'm sharing this with you just because you're a woman right it's the only reason i'm sharing it with you so i was a bit lonely somewhere down my past track and um, I, um, I came across this book and it was something about how to get that man to text you back so that 
you know, he kept in, being engaged. So how do you keep this man engaged? And I follow that rabbit hole for ages and it was so weird because I did it completely in the background. My conscious mind could not acknowledge that I was actually spending money on this particular thing, but I was. And I was doing it because I was the hungry vampire, so desiring of attention and so desiring of uh, a boyfriend basically right I was but I was I was in the illusion I was in the illusion of it and the illusion in itself the fantasy of it has a life of its own it has a gravity of its own it starts to pull your energy away from efficacy where your actual balance lies where it is that you're actually most powerful and it does this because it's designed to do that there are scientific methods that actually train um, um what's the word I'm losing my words today I'm not sorry spirit um, that actually, um, they know how the human is designed. They know what it is that creates magnetism. They know how to change the voice dynamics so that you listen more f fully. They know how to make something look attractive. They know how to AI your pictures so that you look more gl glamorous, right? And they do this because science has shown them that when certain things are in place, the human design actually becomes more attracted or is more likely to listen or more likely to lean in, right? And so there's a whole lot of individuals, organizations, systems, circumstances that apply these technologies and they apply these technologies to keep you engaged and to keep you buying their product. And you can forgive them because we live in a modern age where that's the way that we're, that's the way that our society is designed. <laughs> Right, people who want money tend to crave more money and tend to use that money towards getting more money. And this is not everybody, but it's a form of energy leakage because the individual who's receiving all of that money probably doesn't need that volume of money. They probably don't need that massive form of housing. They probably don't need the um, endless perpetuation of whatever a drug of choice that they have that siphons that money that is taken from, you know people who are really just feeling a little bit lonely and directing that into that particular compass, right? And so I'm going to wrap up in a minute because my battery is going to run out and when it does that, I'm going to have to be kicked offline because that's the way that this um, is structured for me at the moment. So what I want to bring us back to essentially is this, this idea of energy vampirism, this idea of leaky energy, this idea of fueling systems and circumstances and the chaos in your life when you're actually disregarding the truth of what it is that's actually going on. You're not owning, taking sovereignty of the dialogue that's going on and in. And this lands me essentially into the next sister circle. You know, sister circles are the rose circles, the sacred rose circles. It's about each individual who feels called to be in that circle, receiving what it is that they need, what they're available for, and how we can spiritually show up to that hold you in that space and help you move some of this energy on awareness is power your power lies in your awareness of self it lies in your awareness of what it is that impacts you it's in your awareness of where your energy is going and and how you're navigating your own energetic expression and reality this is what the circles are about they're about learning how to do that and the topic of this particular one is um, unlocking inner child wisdom and that's because the energy vampirism, the um, energy leaking, siphoning, a lot of the um, fractures in the energy field that creates these energetically hungry experiencing actually comes from some of our journey of childhood. And yours is unique to you and mine is unique to me. And this will be a space for us to collectively hold an energetic space that should allow you to peer a little bit deeper into your own technology and to bring forth that which is needing to be voiced and expressed and healed and subsequently reclaimed. And so with that, I'm going to sign off this video. I hope that this is useful and I really do welcome you into the circle. If you've happened to catch this, if it's happened to catch your eye and you've gone, yes, this feels right for me, Donna, please come along. You'd be most welcome. Um, we are very gentle and very sensitive and very um, inclusive in our circle. So. Peace and love to you. Many roses, may they bloom in your life. And um, I hope that you can make the circle. It'll be on the 20th, um, which is a Monday of uh, March in evening, in the evening in the US. And on the 21st of March in um, Australia, which is a Tuesday um, around lunchtime. So if you can tune in and dial in and that works for you, awesome. And if you can't, then 
check out my products and services at danaspiritbutterfly.com. That's D-A-N-A spiritbutterfly.com. Um, that is where you can book a one-on-one -on -one session or you can dial into some of my other offerings online. Okay. Peace be with you. Until next time, my beauties.